Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of FM Tactics. In this episode we are looking at one really very attacking tactic, very offensive tactic. So if you are someone who likes offensive football, a football with a lot of chances on both sides, then this is a really good tactic for you. Again we are speaking about tactic with three strikers. Plus, we have uh, two very offensive central midfielders and two very offensive wing backs. So, this tactic is going to, with this tactic, we're going to have some really crazy results. Okay, as always, at the beginning, we are going to check results which I made with this tactic. I played with Strasbourg and also I used with some other clubs from Germany, and I must say that they have really good results. So, let's check this. And as you see guys, we have only one lose, and that lose was, was against Montpellier. That was really terrible lose, that was 4-0, but we got a red card. So you can expect to get a lot of red cards with this tactic. It's really offensive with the hard tackling and get stuck in. So you can expect a lot of yellow cards and red cards. That's the only problem with this tactic. Uh, as you see guys, we had amazing results. We won against uh, Lille 3-0, that was a great game. We didn't lose against Ace uh, Monaco, was 1-1. Then uh, winning against Nantes, Dijon, uh, Olympic Marcel 2-2, really crazy game. Then we killed Nantes 5-0, that was a really nice game. Ran 1-0 and at the end we have game against Cannes. 3-0. Uh, we're really doing great. I mean, Strasbourg is not such a great team and with this tactic, Strasbourg, I made really great results with Strasbourg. Um, okay, now let's check the Liga standings. We see that we are second place, 9 wins, 5 draws, 1 lose, 32 points. Really great for Strasbourg. And this is our first season. I didn't buy any new players. Uh, okay, now let's speak about, now let's check how it looks like on the pitch, guys. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Uh, now we are going to check some games and some goals. Okay, guys, this is a game against Nantes, which we won 5 nil, and this is our first goal. Uh, ball is coming to our advanced forward, and now let's check what is going to happen. We see that he's running up, that's our advanced forward on the right side, he's running to box. Then he's doing a cross, and look this, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five guys waiting in two boxes for this cross. Two CMs, two strikers, and plus wing back who is running up. Uh, I, you, you will see now. As, as you see, guys, there is a six guy, uh, six guy that's our left wing back who is also an attacking duty, and we have like seven players in an opponent box. This is a really crazy. He's crossing to our deep line forward. He's passing back to CM. He's scoring a goal. Really crazy tactic. A lot, very very offensive tactic. Uh, so. I mean, you're going to score a lot of goals, but same time your opponent are going to make a lot of chances. So, but actually this tactic works really good. Now let's check some other goals. Same game, guys, and another really great goal. Another great fast action, direct football counter attack. Now let's check this one. Uh, ball is coming to our deep line forward, who's on the left side. He receives the, the pass, and then he's passing to our Trequertista, who is always looking for free space. Look now, this guy. It's actually really simple action. He's coming, running, and look now. We have advanced forward, who is completely on the right side, and Trequertista is not selfish. He's passing a really nice action, guys. Really nice and simple action. Really, this tactic works really nice, especially um, if you, as I said, if you really like offensive football. Okay, this is uh, this is uh, how it looks like on the pitch. Uh, now let's check the tactic, guys. Okay, guys, now let's speak about the tactic. Um, as you see, we are playing with three strikers. On the right side is advanced forward. He's not he's not involved too much in creating those chances and he's not involved too much in helping defense in the middle we have Trequartista. he's i mean he's the main outlet when we are attacking and when we have a ball he's always looking for free space and th there is another thing that he's not helping defense too much so we have two players who are not helping defense almost at all Trequartista and advanced forward 
but Tecortis is something like advanced playmaker. He is going to help in creation those attacks. Uh, but when we have ball, as I said, he's going to look for free space to move into channels, and this is why he's very, very dangerous. Okay, then on the left side we have deep lying forward, also an attacking duty. Uh, this guy is going to be a little bit deeper and to receive some passes, he's going to be involved in creating attacks. So, um, this guy, is, but in the same time, he's going to be present in the opponent box. Then we have two CMs. Uh, both of them are very offensive. Uh, on the right side we have CM support duty, but he's going to run. I give him order to run into opponent box, and this is why he's going to help attackers. On the other side we have ball winning midfielder. He's going to chase all all over the pitch, and when he gets the ball, then he's going to distribute the ball very fast to strikers or to CMs or to wing backs on the on the left or right side uh, but actually he's also very offensive I give him uh, individual instruction to run into opponent box so this is really crazy we, this is why we have like um, six guys or seven guys sometimes in opponent box then we have two wing backs, attacking wing backs. They're going to run up. They're going to uh, give crossing short some through balls. They're going to be involved in almost every attack. So those guys is, are very important as always because they're only uh, wide man in, in this formation. So you should buy really great wing backs. Then we have two, uh, three central defenders. All of them are, they have instructions to chase a bit more their stoppers, especially those guys on the side. They need to cover wing backs who are very attacking. So those uh, stoppers, central defenders, um, are going to cover these areas behind the wing backs, and that's very important. Then we have sweeper keeper. We are playing very high line and not. Uh, so he must be prepared to run to clear the ball like a central defender. Okay, now let's check the team instructions, guys. As we see, we're playing attacking and fluid. We're playing slightly higher def uh, defensive line. Maybe in some games against very fast attackers, maybe your defensive line must be a little bit lower. Uh, then very fluid team shape. Um, hard, uh, it's normal, but actually it's a bit hard tempo, yeah. Uh, narrow uh, width than using officer traps of course closing down sometimes actually it's a, uh, not sometimes they're going to close it uh, much more then we have prevention goalkeeper distribution we're playing with three strikers I want to uh, prevent those short passes from uh, the uh, opponents then use tighter marking yes get stuck in this is a good option uh, instruction but there is a problem you can get a lot of yellow cards and red cards as i said before playing out of defense pass into space of course three strikers waiting for direct passes up passing mix it or direct uh, whatever you want uh, both of them are working really good uh, be more disciplined why because i I'm, i already give them fluid team shape and attacking so they're going to um they're going to be very fluid and they're going to have a a lot of creativity and um, uh, this I, I put this instruction because I don't want them to roam from every position and uh, I want them to follow some of my orders run a defense yes three strikers we want to dribble more and work ball into box yeah so those were team instructions guys uh, okay guys as I said before with this tactic you can expect a really crazy football crazy game so with a lot of goals your opponent also will score in uh, almost every game so but actually this tactic works even with the teams like Strasbourg as I said uh, I hope that you're going to try this tactic and I, uh, I hope that you're going to leave your comments and of course I want to hear what kind of results you made with this tactic. Anyway guys, um, if you like this video you can always press the button subscribe. So guys, see you in some new episode with a new tactics. Bye bye.